Welcome to the first video of Grade 12 Analytical Geometry. We are going to start this lesson by looking at the equation of a circle. So you know in previous grades, like in Grade 11, you had a parabola, for example, which typically had, or one of its formulas looked like that. Or you could have had a hyperbola, which typically had a formula like that. Well, a circle is another type of graph and it has its own equation which is the following. What I'm now going to do is explain what the A, B and R represent. So A represents the X value of the center of the circle. And I'll show you an example just now of what I mean. B is the Y value or the Y coordinate of the center and then R is the radius of the circle. Now we're going to put that into practice. So if we had an uh, if we had a circle that was given as follows, which has the following center point. So you see the center coordinate is two and four. Then the equation of that circle. Oh, and I must also give you the radius. Let's say the radius is seven. So then the equation of the circle would be the following. You would make your two brackets with a plus in between them, and you would have x and y. Then your center is two. So we'll say minus two. And then the other, the y value center is negative, well it's four, but we always use the opposite. And then, and I'll explain, I'll show you a few different types just now. And then the radius is seven, but this is where I've seen a lot of mistakes. This part of the formula is supposed to say radius squared. So it's seven squared, which is 49. So that is the equation of that circle. Let's look at another one. So now the circle is in this quadrant, so we can still use the circle formula, of course. So it'll be. So now your x value of the center is minus 2. So what we're going to say instead is plus 2. So this formula always goes in opposites. Then the center of the circle for the y value is positive 4, so in the circle formula it will be negative 4. And then the radius is still 7, so we'll still say 49. If it's in this quadrant over here, then the equation will be x. Okay, I'm just going to quickly fill in the template. So it's going to be x plus 2, y plus 2, and then the radius is still 7, so that'll be 49. So I'm sure you get the idea of what we mean by the center of the circle. Just remember to use the opposite coordinates. So here we have to determine the equation of the circle with the following information. It, the center is located at the origin and the circle has a radius of 5. So we could use the circle formula again where this is x, this is y. Then the center is at 0 and 0. That's what we mean by the origin. So you could say minus 0 here and minus 0 here. Whoa, what happened there? Like that over there. And then the radius is 5. So remember that this part mustn't say 5. It must say 5 squared, which is 25. Now you don't have to put the minus 0 because x minus 0 is just x. And so you eventually going to end up with an equation like that. So this is typically how teachers would have introduced circles to you. So just remember that that is a circle, but it is located at the center. So on a diagram, it would be something like that. It hasn't moved left, right, up or down. So here's quite an interesting one. We have to determine the equation of a circle where they have given us the coordinates of the diameter. So guys, what you need to realize is that you have been given a circle or you have been given the diameter. Okay, now the diameter always goes through the middle and they've given you the two coordinates of, or they've given you the coordinates of the diameters. They've given you A, for example, and they've given you B. So if we know that a diameter goes through the center, then surely we, if we could find the midpoint, then that would be the center of our circle. So we can take the coordinates of A and B, use the midpoint formula, and find the center. So the midpoint formula is the following. And so we could take the coordinates of A and B and do the midpoint formula. So it'll be 7 plus 11 over 2, and then 10 minus 2 over 2. And that's going to give us 9 and 4. So that is the center of the circle. So in the circle formula, we can already fill in the center point, which is the x value is 9. So we put a minus. And then the y value is 4. So we can put a minus 4. All that we need now is the radius. Now remember, the radius is this length over here. So if we could work out the length of AB using the distance formula, then we could just divide that by 2 because then that would be the radius. So we could use the distance formula first. 
and then we can just do the distance formula between a and b. So I'm going to start with a's coordinate, so it would be the square root of 7 minus 11 plus, then it will be 10 minus minus 2, so I'm just going to say 10 plus 2. You type that all in on the calculator and that will give you a value of... I'm going to leave it in third form just to make sure we keep as many decimals as possible. So that's going to be 4 root 10. So the length from A to B is 4 root 10. So the radius will be 4 root 10 divided by 2. And that's just going to give us 2 root 10. Then we know that this part of the circle formula is the radius squared. So I'm going to square this value now. So that'll be 2 root 10. And then I square it and that's going to be 40. So I can put a 40 over here. Notice how I left it in third form, because if I went and got decimals over there, then I would have had horrible decimals to work with, and it would just make the, it wouldn't round up nicely to a 40 at the end. Here's one that says that the center point is minus 2 and 7, and the radius is 8. That's quite a nice one. So we know that the center is minus 2, so in the equation it will say plus 2, then this will say minus 7, and then the radius is 8, which means that we will say 64 over there, because 8 squared is 64.